Hi, this is Mr. Morales. What we want to do first is verify that we have our IS40A projects folder on the desktop or any or on the flash drive, wherever you have your location at. I'm going to double click it. I want to notice what I have here. Inside the projects folder, I have just unit A. As time goes on, we'll have unit B, C, and so on and so forth. But I also get a chance to see the index.html file. So if I double click on that index.html file, this is what I should get. There's nothing special about it yet. If I go back to my folder, uh, I also have the unit A. I double click on that and here I have a different index.html file. And that is the project that I worked on from the book. So as a first step, we want to verify that we have both of those two files and that uh, our folder looks like this. Projects, Unit A, there's an index file there, and there's an index file there also. Next step is I want you to navigate to this website, www.000webhost.com. We're going to start up a new web hosting service. Web hosting allows our website to be available uh, to anyone over the internet. Um, it's a web server. We have ac we get access to a web server where we can upload our files. So that's what we want to do. And uh, this particular service is free. So let's start by adding our information there. So type in your email address, a password, and your website name will be is actually no 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 let's do last name followed by first name is 40 a get free hosting let's see what happens here be sure to verify everything that uh, the question here okay once everything is done or uh, once you've uh, completed the first part of the registration process then you come to this window and what you want to do is move along with these um, through these steps. So the next step would be to verify your email. And go along with those steps. Once you verify your email, you should get this message. Click on Manage Website. And you're back here. Now you're going to create your website. So just to let you know, your web address will be, this is my web address, moralesdanielis40a.000webhostapp.com. So if I ever want to go to my website, I'll type this into the web address bar and I should go to my website. But I have nothing there right now. So what I want to do is, uh, what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload my own website. But before I do that, I need to um, modify the index file. So as part of your instructions, you were instructed to uh, download this index.html file. I like to right click and go to save link as, or you could go to save target as, depending on what browser you're using. That index file, you will be saving it under the IS40A projects folder. And as you can see, here it is. So I want to make some modifications to this file. So I open up Notepad++, or I have the option to right click on it and go to edit with Notepad++. And let's take a look at what we have. So we have some HTML code here. Um, you're familiar with some of this code already from uh, previous projects. Uh, what I would like for you to do is to change uh, and add uh, erase my name and put your name there. Okay, also right here. And below you can see that there's a uh, comment. Uh, this code begins a bulleted list. So this is what we call uh, an unordered list or it's a bulleted list. After each li tag, so list tag, this is a list tag after each list tag you will place a link to your project so let's do that so you can you can type exactly what I have or you can kinda of modify things here and there 
So I'm going to put <coughs> um, here is my unit a project. Uh, and you can add it, uh, you know, as much as you want or as little as you want. Uh, I really enjoyed this project. <clears throat> and now what I want to do is create a link for this text. So you uh, have an idea of how to do this already because you worked, you did created links in a previous project. So what I want to do is start with this uh, this code. And what we're going to do is uh, we start with the href href uh, code quotation mark and we're going to link it to a, a file that's in the unit a folder and the name of that file is index.html I close quotation mark I close bracket and then I go to the end of where I want my link to be and I close the anchor so this is the text that I want so I'm gonna save it <clears throat> so just real quick this is the location and it's linking to uh, a file that's an, an index file that's in the unit A folder so if I close this and I notice this is the file with the link here's my unit A folder and here's the index.html file so it's linked link to this file this other index.html file don't get them too confused here so let's view the file and as you can see here my has my name um, is 48 projects here is my unit a project I really enjoyed this project I click on unit a and here it links to my unit a project that I created I'm gonna go back so as time goes on I'm gonna keep adding links here to all my projects that I do in the book so the next one will be unit B unit C and so on and so forth so now what I wanna do is I wanna load both of these files onto our um, our web server okay so we go back to our 000 webhost.com and we're in this stage, step three, create a website. Um, actually, step four, add content to your website. We can see our domain name here. <coughs> and here uh, it says upload own website, so let's go there. And it takes us to this site. What we do is we click on public HTML. Uh, this is pretty standard in a lot of web servers. You're going to see this public underscore HTML folder in a lot of web servers and this is where you would place your um, files so let's click on that actually what I clicked on was this public HTML and this is what I get okay now what we can do is go here to upload files files will be uploaded to public HTML select files and let's look at our here are the different things that we want. We want the index.html file. Upload. Let's experiment. Whoops. Let's try. Let's see if it'll do the entire unit A folder. Okay, and it does not. So in this case, what we want to do is we create a folder and we call it unit make sure that it's the exact same name alright so we, here's the our unit A folder exact same spelling and everything I go in here no files in the folder we're gonna add one file let's go into unit A so basically it needs to look exactly the same as what we have on the desktop Upload. Fantastic. So once you've down uh, uploaded those files, you could come back to this site, or you can type in 
your domain name. In this case, mine is Morales Daniel IS4EA dot zero 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 webhost app dot com. I can click on that, and here I have my the files that I uploaded. Here's my Unit A project. I click on that, and here's my project. I could go back. Okay, now this I'm pretty much finished here with my project. The only last the last thing I need to do is select my web address, copy my web address and send that uh, web address or that domain name to uh, a message, send it in a message using the inbox to in Canvas. So hopefully you learned a lot about uh, uh, creating a website and uh, uploading a website and using a web hosting service.